got this box mounted. What I did here was just, um, I put three self-tapping screws in it just to kind of hold it temporarily. And I also had to put a shim right there to keep it off, you know, to keep that space about the same. But uh, I put the three self-tapping screws in and held it in place. And then I ran a big bolt. I think those are like five eighths, three eighths. I don't know what size those are. They're big enough to hold this little panel, but there we go. Drilled through the stud and have it bolted up there. And um, I just ran eight gauge wire to this thing. I, I made that in another video, as I mentioned a while ago, but um, I just ran eight gauge wire. It's good for 40 amps. Um, the most I'm ever gonna be pulling in here is probably 30. Like, and that's with welder and air compressor going at the same time, you know, 35 amps. So yeah, it's gonna be around the max, but I'm not really ever welding and using the air compressor at the same time. So I don't really, I didn't really see a need to run anything bigger than that anyways. Um, I got a breaker for lights, which I'm gonna have four LED lights. And man, I cannot wait for you guys to see those because those things are freaking, they're so bright. They're like what you would put in like a plant, like a big manufacturing plant or something. Anyway, so we got one for lights, one for receptacles. I think I'm only gonna wire six receptacles in here. I'm gonna do maybe four on this back wall and then one there and one there or something on those little pillars. And then I have a double pole 30 amp breaker for my welder and I'm probably gonna just run it, um, I don't know, over there on that pillar or that pillar, I haven't decided yet because normally when I weld, I don't really weld a lot. I do have to weld sometimes. So I was gonna run it right there for ventilation, I guess. Um, you know, so I'll be outside welding. Anyways, so we got that done. Just got done working for the day. Um, it's been raining all week. We had a couple of dry days, but it's cold outside, so it didn't dry up. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's just started raining. Like right when I hit record, it just started raining again. But luckily I got finished. Um, in time for it to get dry. I got my truck stuck. It was an okay day. I wouldn't call it bad, but it was okay. Anyways, so I'm back in the shop and you can see right there from the video that I made yesterday. Um, I, I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna probably post all these videos together. So I said the video I made yesterday because I did that yesterday. So got the main ran. That was actually another video, but I got the main ran. Yesterday I connected the main and uh, today, it is three o'clock, so I have two and a half hours of daylight right now. Um, it's winter time, it gets dark at 5.30. But I have two and a half hours of uh, daylight right now. And the goal is, <clears throat> I already have my breakers installed. Top breakers gonna be lights for me. Um, I'm gonna run my wires all the way, or my main power wire to right there, and put um, a couple of light switches in. And then I'm gonna go up that wall over here and I'm gonna hang some LEDs. Um, I think I've decided I'm gonna put four. So, and I might end up having to get a lift because it's gonna be way, my, my lift for trees, because um, it's gonna be way faster than using a ladder. Um, and I wanna get this done quick. So we're gonna run the wire right quick, we get the lights in, I can go ahead and finish the other wiring. I might end up staying up all night or something because I really wanna get it done. So let's get to work. All right guys, it's 10.30. I'm gonna call it a night. Um, I couldn't really record anything because it got really dark. I'm talking pitch black dark and I was working with a flashlight. Um, what I did was I ran like what we talked about earlier, the light breaker down to the GFCI. So I wanted all this to be GFCI protected. Um, and the GFCI goes over here. Hear that wind? It's really windy outside. It's always windy here. Remember this? This wind is not normal. Okay, it's normally windy, but not this bad. Anyways, so we, I take it over here to these switches. Um, the left, switch on the left is for two lights on the right side of the building. The switch on the right is for the two lights on the left side of the building because I, these lights are really bright. Okay. And I don't want four lights on all the time. I have not mounted those other two lights yet. All I got to was these. Um, so yeah, this, this switch right here is what controls that. And I just ran my conduit or my wire like that. Tomorrow I'm gonna run that switch right there. I'll just go to follow the same route and take it all the way over there. Um, and also I'm gonna wire all these receptacles. If I need to get another GSCI, I forgot to get it. 
And also, one of the boxes, let me show you this, it's kind of crazy. See how these boxes had the knockouts? Three on the right, one on the very back. You can't see that. And one right here and one on the bottom. Well, the box that I was going to mount the GFCI in doesn't have any knockouts in the side. I don't know. You can't really see that. But, okay. No knockouts. The knockouts are on the wrong side. They welded the uh, mount mounting part on the part where the knockouts are supposed to be. So that's defective. I'm going to take it back and get my money back. And then stupid me bought the wrong covers. I got the wrong covers. I got to take those back. I'm glad Lowe's takes everything back without question. But anyways, tomorrow, like I said, I'm going to get that switch and the two lights wired. And then I'm going to get all these receptacles wired. Then I'm going to have to go pick a GFC out. And also, don't know if you know anything about metal buildings. I did not know this. See all that silicone right there? It rained and water was coming in under the building and I looked it up online and I actually read in the contract too, by the way. Um, it said they're not liable for water coming in under it because unevenness of slabs or whatever. You can see the water back here. It's really only kind of bad near the front area, um, but I'll caulk all that too. But I think that's all guys. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I couldn't decide where to mount my welder my welding uh, receptacle. I can't decide to mount it right there in between those two doors or right there in between those two doors. Um, I don't know. For some reason, it's a hard decision for me. But anyways, guys, thanks. Tomorrow, I'll try to record something because it's actually gonna be daylight. Today's Friday. Um, I ended this last night with the, rec the receptacle boxes mounted, the conduit room for the lights and not conduit the wire ran for the lights the first two satellites um i've got to run the wire for all the receptacles and then i've got to wire up all the receptacles and then i got to run that wire over there up to the second set of lights and then i should be getting close to finished with wiring i'm still gonna have to i still need to figure out where i'm gonna mount the um the welder plug at that's what i've got to figure out but I gave myself a full day, so hopefully I can get all this done today.
all the wiring done now. Um, I got the wrong face plates for the light switches and the welder outlet. So I got to go back and get that. Um, but that's pretty much all. Oh, and I need one GFCI. I couldn't connect all the receptacles that I connected. I mean, I couldn't connect the main power over here because I didn't get a GFCI. I got to get a GFCI to go right there. And I'll come off of that circuit right there to that, which feeds all the receptacles. Um, I just want this to be protected. You know what I mean? Like if something happens or if it rains inside of it or something like that, it'll trip that. And instead of burning my wire up, that'd be very bad. Um, but anyways, I got my welder plug. I ended up moving it down and uh, to right there. For, I, I don't know why I did that. I just decided to do that. Probably because I cut this wire too short. And I, I left plenty of extra if, in case I wanted to fix it, but I, I don't really care. It's fine. <laughs> I just have OCD or whatever it's called. Those two, you can't plug anything into anyway because it's only like a six circuit deal. So I got my welder, got my lights, got my receptacle. Um, like I said, I'm gonna come hook this up. I gotta go get my uh, GFCN. I'll connect that right there. I'm on my main up to my receptacle. I'll do that tomorrow morning first thing. But uh, look how bright these lights are. Oh my gosh. It feels like daylight in here. I mean, it's pretty much dark outside. And this camera does not do this justice because you cannot look into these lights. I mean, I'm not even kidding. It's like looking into the sun or something. Not, I mean, I'm not exaggerating whatsoever. Um, but anyways, I got my welder plug, got my two light switches. Um, this controls the left two lights and this controls the right two lights. and I left these right here. I wired these in right here in case I ever wanted to add anything. I might in the future add like um, an exhaust fan for if I'm having to weld or grind or whatever inside if it's raining out, which I, that's kind of necessary. So I probably won't do that. But and then I've wired another one in for like exterior lights if I wanted to put a like a dusk, dusk dawn light or something like that. I'll probably do that. Um, but anyways, got lots of receptacles now. All the way around. I even added one right there and one right there. And I got plenty of light. Now all I've got to do is start building shelves and get all my stuff moved in here. Which I'm going to try to get all the shelves built tomorrow and start moving stuff in. And it's supposed to rain a quarter of an inch on Sunday. So I don't know how much moving stuff I'll be doing in that because I don't want to get my stuff wet. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the uh, journey of me working 14 hours a day to get this done.